we are here backstage at The Voice with Kristen. First of all, intense performance tonight, girl. Oh my God, I almost had a heart attack when I was watching and the audio went off. What went through your mind? I almost had a heart attack. <laughs> you didn't look it though. You totally pulled it off. I was crumbling inside. I was just like, oh my God, this can't be happening. This is live, no. And But for me, I'm a fighter. I, I don't give up. And it, I, I just was like, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna go down swinging. <laughs> As Usher said, I think it happens to the best of the artists. You know, like if you have a live performance, things are gonna go haywire. That's what happens. Expect the unexpected, you know? I just had to roll with whatever came my way and that's what happened and it's whatever. That's cool. And I love that Blake kind of flipped it and was like, let's not worry about the, the negative side of things. Like, you rocked the performance and, and that was really, really cool to hear from him. Looking at it from like another perspective, I think you showed everyone tonight that you were a total pro. You can handle a live performance, girlfriend. Because if it was me, I would have been like, uh, <laughs> can we restart? Yeah, right? Mulligan? Yeah. No, it's not in this. Okay. Yeah, I know. And I love how you like tore out your earpiece. You're like, you know what? I'm just going to go all out. Oh, man. I was like, oh, I thought that was the problem. And when I took that out, I was like, oh, no. It's the mic. Then I was like, okay, let's just keep it going. And, okay. and you know, I just had to have fun with it. Not your fault. Not your fault. Someone's probably getting chewed out in the sound department right now. But not your fault. Okay. So how do you feel about your performance tonight? I had fun with it. Yeah, I feel like I had, in the beginning of the song, it was like I sat well with it. I, mean, I love that song. And, and to me, it was heartfelt. So I hope that everyone else could feel that. I hope I drew the people in enough, you know, with what they heard. And just, just roll with it, you know? I love you, Team Shakira. She's an amazing woman. Super, super heartfelt. She's very genuine and dedicated. Man, she's so in tune with, with me as an artist uh, being on her team. And I love it. I, I went with my gut in the beginning. It blinds, and I, I don't have one regret. That's cool. So she really stuck by her words in the beginning, saying that, you know, she will help you develop every step of the way. She hasn't dropped the ball on that whatsoever. You know, she is definitely a, a woman of her word. And to me, I want to be the same. I told her, you didn't make a mistake bringing me to lives. You know, I want to I want to prove to her that she made the right choice. I love that. And of course, at this point of the competition, it's really anyone's game to lose. Who do you think is your biggest competitor if you had to choose one person? Everyone. <laughs> Honestly, there, it's, watching tonight unfold was just incredible. There's such great talent. And it's nerve-wracking to be up against them. Because I'm rooting for everybody. I'm like, oh, wait, I'm competing. <laughs> but um, if I have to go against, you know, Jake and Audra for, for country, I'm nervous about that, too, because they're super, super strong artists. And for all the fans out there, are there any weird talent or weird habit that you have that they don't know? Something weird about me, makeup, I freak out when things go, like, near my eyes. I feel like I'm going to throw up. So I'm like, please be quick. Please be quick. <laughs>